I am so happy to have everybody here today. Let me just make sure the audio works with Tammy Kling, our guest uh, uh, speaker and business partner. Tammy, you there? I am right here and excited to be with you today. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you and everybody that's taken out time. You guys, I know you have a lot of places you can be. Your business is calling you to do lots of different activities. And I'm just pleased and, and thankful that you take time to be with us here today. Um, for those of you that attended last uh, week's session, we had Tammy Kling, who is um, and the most incredible person I know. She's an international author. Her work is recognized around the world. Um, she's been featured on uh, New York Times, Wall Street, Dateline, Extra, NBC, Primetime. She's written over 100 books and deals with some of the top high achievers in the world. Um, she has a team of over 20, is it 21 writers around the world? We have now 27 writers in lots of different countries. <laughs> 27 riders around the world so it gives her the flexibility mobility and uh, capability to be able to um, assist anybody that's interested in really really leveraging words as currency you guys will hear us talk constantly about how words are currency how to convert words to cash and really um, you know one of the areas we really focused on last week is just kind of setting the groundwork and understanding that uh, you in your in your profession you're probably if you're a business owner uh, and those are that's usually who attends these. You guys are probably the best salesperson and have the best message for your company. And the goal is is to get you out of a, a position uh, where you feel like you don't have enough time, and to be able to leverage content, your messaging, and your words to be able to replicate yourself, duplicate yourself, automate uh, some of your messaging and communication. And, uh, your message to be heard by others, no matter where you are. And so today. We have a couple things we're going to cover. Um, one, we're going to go over uh, some different types of content tools, or um, if you listen to Tony Jerry, he calls it marketing artillery. Um, we're going to talk through each one of these, and then also we've got a uh, talk with Functional Med Medicine Center, Dr. Ozzie, who uh, we agreed on last week's call to do an evaluation. Uh, Tammy refers to it as a forensic on his content to see uh, how he can better improve or leverage content to be able to spread his, his message, uh, be able to generate new leads and opportunities, and most importantly, uh, really be able to convert his words to cash. And that's, I'm sure, why most people are here. Is they're interested in building their business, making more money, creating uh, a better life, more freedom, having more time, and those things. And this is really uh, what we're here to focus on. Tammy, you have anything you want to start everybody off with just to get everything? There he is. <laughs> so you have anything you want to start everybody off with this morning? Well, thank you for being here, and I think the great, great focus is on words are currency. So we are all so busy responding to life, but in business and emails and meetings. But if we just focus on taking time to do a forensic on what we're saying and not just where we're saying it, then Jennifer can take your business to a whole different level. What we're really focused on is you becoming Hey Todd, welcome. Hey. Um, what we're really focused on is you becoming the expert. The, the listener, meaning everyone, becoming the expert in their specific field, which you can't do unless you actually focus on what you think and spreading that message to people. Absolutely. Uh, you know, just to touch base, you guys, again, this is, this is often a time where people think that they don't have enough time. And... Uh, they don't have enough time to create content. They don't have enough time to write a book. They don't have enough time to create an ebook. They don't have enough time to do better. However, I want you to think about how you spend your day, day in and day out. Most likely, many of you are like most salespeople and professionals um, around the world, and you're repeating yourself again, like Groundhog's Day. You wake up, you, you get on sales calls, conference calls, presentations. If you're a speaker, you're definitely repeating yourself continuously. Uh, but this, the process of 
you being in front of a consumer or a prospect, whether it's on a webinar or a sales call or in a conference or a meeting or on stage and so forth, is a temporary uh, a temporary activity. It's something where you're literally burning through hours over and over and over again. However, by taking that message and those words and converting them to either a digital or a permanent asset, you wind up duplicating yourself. I know many of you have, have um, probably stated, I wish there were more of me, or I wish there were more hours in a day. And quite frankly, there can be. And the way that you can do that is simply by leveraging your words in different formats to reach different audiences while you do something else. You know, it's a good example for me. Right now, I'm in, I'm in Las Vegas with my family, my parents, uh, my fiance, my sons, and so forth. And while I'm here, I have Kathy Marshall, who happens to see all of the new opportunities that come in uh, to our company. While I'm here, I, I honestly am barely working. I'm, I'm touching in, I'm touching base with email, I'm checking on the team, I have a couple team meetings, but really I'm not actually working. I take around uh, 8 to 10 vacations per year. I leave for three months uh, in the summer, and the only reason that I can can have that freedom, which most entrepreneurs are interested in uh, having freedom, having a life, having um, a significant relationship, having a better quality uh, just entire life versus just making more money. And if that's a goal, the only reason I can do this is because I consistently leverage my message through various vehicles. Now, I'm not even doing what I should be doing, and I can't wait. Tammy and I are writing a book as we speak. I cannot wait to have this book done. Um, to me, it represents the most valuable sales tool I could ever present. Being able to uh, create a book is going to allow me to even reach further places. I want to be sitting in the hands of somebody sitting on an airplane. I got on... Um, a flight, this is probably, I don't know, six months ago, and when I walked through the aisle, the amount of people that were reading books, Tammy was talking about on her way to London, the amount of people that were sitting back reading books, everyone that is attending this has a message to share, and it's about pulling that message out and creating something of value that we can place in other people's hands. This is going to be the process that will allow you to be able to replicate yourself duplicate your message and in many cases automate your sales presentations. Tammy, um, you and I both work very very closely with Tony Jerry, both he's our client as well as a uh, coach and mentor. How many, you know, I, I can't remember, I was sitting in his studio, he just got a huge shipment of books in and he was talking about the fact that one of his mentors um, told him how many books he was giving away. Not how many books Tony was giving away, but one of Tony's mentors said, I give away X amount of books on an annual basis. And Tony literally sat back, folded his arms, and he was like, we're not giving away enough books. We're not give we have to double our orders. We're not giving enough away enough books. And I remember having this conversation there. What do you estimate in the amount of books that Tony gives away on a on an annual basis? Oh, he gives away more than... 40,000 books a year, but you know, not everybody can do that, but it, you bring up a good point because no matter what we create as far as content, we cre let's say we create a book for someone, that book goes places that they can't go. You know, books go where we can't go, they reach people we can't reach. Not only that, it's the entertainment industry, so just like a film, people enjoy and choose to read a book. I don't know anyone who enjoys to read a brochure. It just doesn't happen. So the book is the new brochure. And I always coach our clients, Tony's clients, your clients, our, our mutual clients, I always coach them that, that if you give away a book, it's also, you get a lot of benefits to giving away a book. You know, it's it's a seed and there's a lot of other benefits to give away because it is the business expense giving away a book i mean it's part of the marketing expense and words are currency it doesn't take time 
once you've got the foundation established. So before someone comes to you, Jen, for instance, they've already read about you. We live mm -hmm. in a consumer, as you know, due diligence market. So they've already read about you on the internet. They already know by the words that you've chosen how great you are and they want to work with you. And it's the same when people come to me, they always say, hey, I saw your your book over here and I want you to my, write my book. I don't have to sell my business. That's what mm -hmm. we want to get everyone. Absolutely. This is... um. So let's go through these. We, I've created, and I know there's more than this, but I didn't want it to feel too overwhelming. Um, I created a list of 12 areas where um, we believe you can absolutely leverage content. And I started off with a book and then converting to an ebook for multiple reasons. So, um, Tammy, if you'll do me a favor, as far as creating a book, uh, from my conversations and quite frankly from my own personal thoughts and feelings it seems slightly overwhelming um, number one is where do I start number two and many business owners and professionals uh, I often hear say that it doesn't apply to me because let me just get throw some examples out you know I'm looking at uh, some of the attendees that are on we've got um, Scott Schilling or excuse me Scott Burnside he has uh, a company called portable air conditioners and they really have an amazing business they reach hospitals they reach um, IT companies they reach uh, sporting entertainment event professionals and so forth and they've got some very unique and cool uh, solutions for being able to um, keep server rooms cool and so forth. So can we just take that as an example? If And Scott and I have not had this conversation, but I'm guessing he might say this doesn't apply to him. With your professional opinion, how could a company like an air conditioning or an HVAC company or a portable air conditioner company, does it make sense for them to write a book and, and why? Well, how does that start? Well, that's certainly a great question. One thing is that we do books, as you know, for all kinds of different companies. I just finished a book, of course, for a roofing company, for a medical supply company, for all kinds of different industries. It may not apply to someone that doesn't want to write a book. It's like anything, right? Uh, because you have to be passionate and really understand the business model. But we work with one percenters and those, again, the, the mission is to keep people, elevate them to the top one percent of their industry and make them an expert. And they already are an expert oftentimes. Uh, I had a, a client come to me yesterday and said, you know, I'm America's number one cleaning expert, commercial and home cleaning. I'm the expert and I want to write that signature book. And see, a lot of times we don't attend to our content, our web content, our books, we don't attend to any of that because we're busy attending to business. But in the book process, just like anything else, all it takes is about six weeks and then you're done. So it does seem overwhelming in the beginning, but we make it easy. I work with you to take recordings. I bounce questions to you via email. And then I let the client choose their best method of communication. If they want to send me recordings, uh, if they want to, you know, record into their telephone, they can email it over. If they want to send Word documents, you know, a lot of people have had a book burning inside them for a long time. And then by the time they get to us, we have them focus on how we can monetize that book because it is a product and it does help. It is a product and a tool. It's a great product, but it does help bring in other business. For instance, I've worked with eight doctors and or chiropractors and wellness practitioners over the last six months. And then I've worked with six different people in the housing, roofing, contractor industry. And for each one, their needs were so specific. 
So with each one, you say, okay, let's look at what our goal is and what our objective is, and then we will use the book to monetize your business. So it's got two purposes in my view. It's a legacy. I mean, your grandchildren read it. So we, we oftentimes put all kinds of personal philosophy. So if you think about John Maxwell's book, The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, or if you look at Suze Orman's book, you know, she's, she's considered the finance guru. Or if you look at Dr. Oz, the books help, you know, there's a lot of doctors in this world. There's a lot of finance gurus, but the books help establish that brand. So the best thing I can say is if you're, if you want to grow your business, let us take six weeks of our time and, and leverage us to build you a book and build your content. And then you can go about your business, making money and doing what you do. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. I'm, I'm in the process. I'm, I have said, I have publicly announced because I thought it was going to be what kept me on track. I've publicly announced that I was going to write a book for four years in a row. Four years. I've written chapters. I've written headings. Now I am the most ADD book writer on the planet. I literally have 12 different book titles with 12 chapters per book and no book because I didn't have a good coach and that's um I'm not doing that this year so this is my my fifth public announcement it will be oh. my fifth <laughs> I'm not gonna do that again this time well it was destiny and the thing is it is good that you waited because for instance someone I met yesterday had two books that they pulled out and they just the books weren't right. They weren't right at all. And why spend all that time and money focusing on something? I mean, really, why focus on something if you're not going to do it one time, do it right? is that literally it's, it lasts for years. I mean, I wrote a book 10 years ago and I still get letters from all over the world every week about this book. I got asked to be on the Discovery Channel and do a TED Talk all because of this book that I had, have had out of my head for 10 years. So a book is such a legacy. If you go back to the beginning of time, the earliest presidents, the earliest world leaders, a book is so critical to humanity and people are never going to stop reading. I say a book is even more important today than it was six years ago because six years ago, everybody was just focusing on social media. And now that everybody's got a Facebook page and everybody's trying to get uh, websites up, I'm not saying they're getting their content right, but a book is really more important than ever because if you look at your competitors, I mean, I had a consultant walk in and he said, this is it, I'm done. Every time I walk into my client's office, he's got my competitor's book on his desk. I'm done, I'm ready to write that book. And that's reason enough. It's not just to be competitive. It's that number one, it's your legacy. Number two, you've got all of these advantages, things that you're doing better than the competition. You've got all these assets, and why not put them in one place and then give that book to your prospects, to people you meet on airplanes, to your competitor, or not your competitors, but <laughs> maybe, I don't know, but to your uh, clients, give your book to those people so that they can see the difference because you operate with excellence but you're in a sea of social media people for instance or roofing people or medical supplies or whatever it is if you're losing business here and there that you know you shouldn't lose a book is a great answer to helping people in a very simple way understand hey this is how i think and this is why we're different and it's the beauty of it is you just do it once. 
and then that's it it's out there forever and you can build an entire business around it an entire vertical revenue stream if you want or you can just leave it that's my specialty is to coach you through that so don't get too concerned about that at the moment but anybody that wants to grow i would say do a book and think of your 10-year plan and think where do you want to be in 10 years develop the book with that in mind absolutely you know <clears throat> for those of you that are not familiar with us we own a digital marketing agency and digital marketing people consider um, our agency what we do is we build a website we build a social media presence we build a newsletter um, template and a system we build autoresponders we the bottom line is everything we do in a digital marketing agency revolves around one thing and it's content so when you hear us focus on you know we have four primary areas we focus on when we're working with a client do you have the right technology do you have the right strategy are you surrounded by the right network and do you have the right mindset and behavior and strategy that column really has to do with what is your message how are you disseminating your message how frequently are you communicating and really um, you know this is one of the big challenges it's funny when people sit down with us and they're like oh how long does it take for you to get a website done and I, for me it's, it takes me four weeks however when you calculate um, what the time frame is when uh, you have a client that needs to put together the content for their site most web companies that take a long time to get a website done the only thing that's holding them up is content is your words is the communication that's necessary a website is nothing but the matrix right it's a bunch of code and and um, and divs and style sheets and CSS forms and so forth and tables and databases and everything else that's all a website is what makes a website presentable to a consumer or to a human is content video and pictures content video and pictures so having a coder or a development team or a graphics design team design you a website or build you a website or construct you a website hopefully all three um, if you're doing it right requires uh, content so you know this is um and it's not just that you have uh, in a marketing environment you have the initial content you have to take to market but then you have to have a consistent voice um, Google cares about three things are you relevant that has to do with the labeling and how content is written on your site so if you are a dentist and you write a blog article that says is your husband keeping you up at night you are going to get your website placed in a different drawer, probably not the one you want, <laughs> than if you were to write an article that says um, top five solutions for sleep apnea, for example. Uh, so one is a good social media uh, lingo because it's interesting and people will probably want to want to click on that but the other is how are you placing your website inside Google so that's relevant are you relevant the next um, thing Google cares about is are you trusted and trusted is what is your social metasphere what does your network look like in order to build an incredible network you have to have something of value and it has to be consistent so being able to consistently connect with, with uh, prospects consistently provide value consistently be entertaining consistently be motivational and so forth and um, we just got done building in well I shouldn't say done we're never done um, one of the things we're doing is for all of our clients that we do social media marketing for we are taking uh, quotes that are motivational quotes we, of course we're using Tammy's quotes and we're using Tony Jerry's quotes and we're building a library so uh, I, all of these photographs by the way that are behind these um, I took this photograph in the BVI the photo that we just saw right before that I took that in Hawaii these are all our custom photographs um, this is in Hawaii this is on the way to uh, Kiwana is it right I can't remember where the seven seven sins like are so each one of these are our own custom photos that's my dad and a turtle for example but I'm, I'm showing you this BVI BVI these are um, 
images that have a message on it. So Tony's quotes, Tammy's quotes, these are things that they are known for. People have heard them say that in speaking events, they say it in meetings, they say it when they're doing motivational talks and webinars and, and so forth. Interviews, TV interviews, radio interviews. That's Seattle. That was at my home in Seattle. I have a houseboat in, on Lake Union. Um, but I want to kind of give you an idea. When you talk about messaging, these are things that travel. So artillery, um, throughout your book, I'm sure you are going to have quotes and statements and so forth. When you write a book first, it gives you the ability, uh, the ability to communicate. The third thing Google cares about is are you current? And current has to do with the frequency of content, uh, the frequency of content and how, how current you are. How relevant, how current, how trusted. How relevant, the way it's labeled, how current, how frequently are you publishing content, and how trusted are you, which has to do with your network. So we've got to also, we can't just, um, if I was to write content every day on my Facebook wall or on my blog post and it was all about websites and social media and Google and SEO and so forth, I'm instantly going to leave people leave people. I'm not going to be able to attract people. So you have to have more of a life message other than just the products and services that you sell. Let me go back to here. So in creating a book, it allows you to work backwards. And I'll tell you, this is it's um, like going into this with a plan. If you were to create a book, you were to outline what is the title and the primary message, what are the 12 or 10 different chapters, what are the top three or four bullet points in each one of those chapters you're going to cover? Guess what? You guys just created an entire marketing strategy for the entire year that can then be translated and leveraged as a an ebook. In an ebook, you're now downloaded on people's Kindles and phones and so forth, and you can embed links throughout that content. So, Tammy, um, your clients that have books, when they when they post it onto an ebook. Are they often um, creating sales pages or landing pages with links embedded inside that book that they drive people to for monetization? Yes, for sure. And when we do a book for any client or when we do a website, I mean, it's all, all those quotes that you mentioned and those images, uh, we can also do not only using your proprietary library, of course, but we can use the individual's own quotes. Some mm -hmm. want them, some, some want to take from your library, but what, what I'd like to do is take those quotes from the book, so then you can use all of that information on their website and in their blog posts and all of that, of course. So people should understand that it's a very integrated process. So if you write a book, we can use each chapter for talks, for instance, we can use the quotes, some of your personal quotes, we can pull out and make those beautiful images that you see and Jennifer can use in social media. And then it goes the opposite way with integration as well is for your website. If we're building that content, we can use some of that for chapters in your book, etc. So it's all a very connected process. I think one of the one of the books you um, you launched recently, you guys published recently. To me, it was it was genius in the way it was constructed, and that's business ground rules. A hundred, uh, I don't have it in front of me, but a uh, hundred tips for success in business or something of that nature. But it's business ground rules. They took this is um, uh, Peter Thomas, right? Tony Jerry and Tammy Kling took a hundred. Uh, well, while well, you took twelve different areas, so. Uh, thinking, clarity, strategy, focus, execution, uh, marketing, branding. Um, I, can't remember the, I can't remember all of them. But you took 12 different areas, and then in each area, you had um, five or six different um, kind of messages, right? These headings, and every heading has maybe a half a page to two pages. I think that's the most of content for each one. And then included in that, on every page, you have one or two quotes. 
I love, and so now for, for Tony's websites, we're able to, we have over 100 blog posts, we have over 200 quotes, over, over, let's see here, there's over 300 headings, which those are used from each um, chapter heading and each one of the page headings, each individual section, but literally he has all of his newsletters, he's able to pull out a section and create a newsletter that he sends on email. We're able to automate his publishing. So to his social media sites, taking all 200 quotes, putting them into those images, putting them into our publishing system where our social media team distributes one quote per day out to all of his fan pages, and he's got multiple fan pages. Being able to take each one of those two-page chapter, their kind of sub-chapters, and drop it into a blog post. Now he has web content that's permanent, a permanent fixed asset in Google, that web content is, content is then spun into all the different social media networks that we publish content to, and all he has to do is have a call to action and a landing page to be able to convert new prospects, which he also just released a series of videos, which are kind of how-to videos that are around the book. So when you look at one book, Literally creating one book, six week time frame. Do you, how long did it take you guys to finish that? Well, business ground rules. We let's see. We started in Canada, and then we did a tour bus drive and had fun on a tour bus riding it for ten hours. And then we uh, let's see. We met three times and finished it over the course of four four to five weeks. And you're right, just one book will create a content for a very, very long time and then it will last for, for decades. I mean, I remember the last time I took a flight with Tony, he gave away five books just on the line. And what a connecting point. He gets calls after the airplane flight to come to his company and speak and do an entire consulting gig and everything just from a brief glance at this book that focuses on the 100 points that they've taken away from business and away from life that they think are most valuable. And we all have that. That's the beauty of if you really think about the way to market your life and your business. I mean, it's all interconnected. If I said to you, you can think of the top five principles that you want your children to know when they grow up. If you were gone and your son or daughter was starting a business and you wanted them to know what obstacles you're going to face or overcome hurdles, or top five principles would be, would be. And then I always ask the book client or the, or the web client, Okay, now let's look at life because life and business are fine. If you had to be behind with the world your top five life principles that you've observed over the years, what would they be? And so generally it all falls together because if you look at the book as a legacy and a really incredible marketing tool that your competitor probably does not have, then it's easy. The process becomes really simple because we're not trying to make up content. We're using authentic content that is about you and what you believe in. I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys, this is marketing is not a difficult process. You just need a coach, a guide, a plan, and uh, an execution strategy. So as Tony says, get clear, have clarity, and we can help with that. Secondly, is that clarity will give you the ability to focus. And third, it will give you the ability, when you focus, you have the ability to execute. And um, those who execute, those who win. So this is, um, this is we're, we're focusing on the book as the primary funnel um, because we see most businesses work backwards. Most individuals work backwards. And it seems to be a struggle and um, a frustration of many business owners on 
that process seems to be very difficult. The working backwards process where I'm trying to think of each article, I'm trying to think of each piece of content every single day, and it's it's a frustrating process. So, um, you know, this is a methodology of ours that we believe in, uh, and we've seen many, many uh, successful business owners and professionals uh, execute this way, and it, it is faster, sharper, smarter, more efficient, and definitely less stressful. And so we want to remove some of that, that anxiety and stress around, oh my gosh, do I have to write more blog content? Do I have to write another newsletter? Where am I going to get the article content from and so forth? There's a much easier way to be able to market um, your business. And remember, the word market means communicate, and communicate is words, and where we place those words is going to get you to a different audience. So everything is interconnected. We have to not think about these things as separate entities. Social media is not a separate entity from your website. It's not a separate entity from uh, a book. It's all actually joined at the hip and making sure that you've got a very cohesive and comprehensive plan to be able to communicate frequently is going to be critical to, to everyone's success. And uh, like I said, alleviation of stress and of um, what we don't want to do is have you living in a place of overwhelm. You're in a corporate job, you're in an executive, you don't want to be in that position anymore, you really want to jump out on your own, become a speaker or an entrepreneur, um, or you're a business owner and you're working in the grind, you're working 60, 80 hours a week, you're tired of, of not having a life that's not what your idea of, of creating a business for yourself looked like when you started, and you want to do something different. Everything that we are, well, let me back up. We tend to attract and be able to help individuals who are um, looking for kind of total life happiness. That it's, it's more than just, I'm here to make money. Making money is going to provide you with the ability to have the freedom and the luxury to be able to do exactly probably what you set out what you set out to do in the beginning. When you became an entrepreneur, when you got a corporate uh, executive position, there was a goal, and that goal, I'm sure, included freedom and time with family and the ability to choose. People ask me all the time, why do you do what you do? I have one goal in mind, and that is I want the ability to choose without restriction. Because I don't know what I want to do when I'm five, you know, five years from now. I don't want, know what I want to do ten years from now. I do know I want the ability to choose. And that choice in life, every day, every week, every month, every year, it's, it has to become greater. I have to have a greater. Tammy, I love it. You said, um, you wrote on your wall when I was sitting in your, your dining room, you said, make space. And I always say, make a space. I'm constantly looking for things that I can implement in my business that Well, I'm different with, but I want that space back. So, with that, um, right. we have, let's see here. I want to open it up. Anybody, you guys, start thinking of questions that you may have for Tammy if you have a book inside you and you're not sure uh, how to get started. I think I'm seeing questions. We have lots of questions. So, I want to make sure you guys have an opportunity to ask uh, Tammy or myself those questions that maybe are holding you up. Um, let's see, we have a little bit of audio problems. Todd, I'm, I'm actually not at the pool, but my whole family is, and they're texting me asking when I'm going to be done. Let's see here. The life of a mobilepreneur. I know, I love it. This, I can see it right out my condo. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Um, while you guys are coming up with I want to pull up uh, let's see here. I want to pull up Dr. Ozzy's website. And I know, um, Todd, I'm going to unmute you because um, the first thing that we, we, we promised that we would we do is... Hello, Todd. How are you? Very well. How are you? Good. Thank you. Good. All Thanks right. So, me. Tammy, we have Todd. Can you hear him? Hello. Hi, Todd. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> I wish Good I was time. in Vegas. <laughs> This is, you know, I'm sitting in Vegas, and while we're here, we just booked our trip to Cabo. <laughs> All right. 
Thanks, man. <laughs> it's funny how it just every trip turns into another one. <laughs> All right. Inspires you. All right, very good. So, Tammy, we promised that we would do an evaluation of um, the content on Todd's website and give him some uh, tips and pointers on what he can do uh, better, how he can improve his messaging, and so forth. Um, Todd, do you want to start off with a, just a very quick um, kind of summary of, you know, your relationship with the content writing piece of your marketing plan? What stresses you out? What works? What doesn't work? What do you What do you really need help with? Um, well, first, um, it was always just difficult trying to a write content. Obviously, find time with all the other things I have to do, um, and it's not what I set out to do. I set out to treat patients, not you know really write stuff. Although I know it's necessary, um, and that wasn't as bad as much as trying to. I have to do a lot of the SEO stuff. Right, and that for me is just like going to school again. Um, so that was very difficult. It kind of felt like I was wasting my time a lot. And you're always talking about, you know, make more time, not less time. Um, and I kind of feel the same way. So um, I think it's the Yoast, the SEO Yoast that you guys introduced just recently. Uh, that's helped a lot. Uh, if I can visualize it when I'm writing things down and trying to make a blog post with the right SEO. Uh, information when I can see it in front of me that helps so um, that was a problem and now just trying to learn from your tutorials on how to exactly write things down and how to say it um, is the next step that I'm doing um, so that that was probably the, the toughest thing so just find a little bit of time and then making sure that I'm not wasting my time uh, writing things down on my website that nobody sees so Todd, I know in, in my eyes, if I was to look at your business, mm -hmm. you need to become a magnet um, for a certain group of people who are interested in more of a whole body, holistic approach to their overall wellness. You need to become right. a magnet. So in order to do so, Tammy, what do you recommend? Well, that is a good goal, of course, and as Todd knows, it's also the goal of a lot of other functional medicine professionals. And right. so what I would suggest when we're writing the content is, you know, how do we really stand out? How would you really stand out from other experts out there or self-proclaimed experts? You know, there's always people that are doing things right, but then there's people that aren't doing things right. And so on the content, I would focus specifically on some of the things that you know people want, of course. Um, you know, the weight loss program, writing more about that. And that Dr. Ozzy recommends is certainly a great tool to pull people in. And using uh, the the areas of content that you specialize in, and just making sure that you're short, crisp, have a lot of clarity about focusing on those areas, and then also if you haven't already, focusing on some specific patients that you've treated. Now, the way to do that would be to include some fun patient stories written by the patients because that's a distinction that a lot of uh, functional medicine people don't do is they don't actually have the patient's perspective. So having a column or a patient corner or something where we can load content from the patients would be really valuable because it would be something very brief and say, hey, I came in with this injury and I've been to all these other places and Dr. Ozzy just transformed my life. I mean, you're already getting those letters already. Right. Yeah. So let's leverage those. It's all about leverage. Okay. I, I, there are some testimonials on there um, and I've tried to make it easy for my patients like saying that uh, just write something down, well, we can, you know, revamp it for you. A lot of times it's instead of just maybe sitting them down and putting them in front of a camera, which some people may or may not want to do, um, sometimes it's a little tough to get them to actually sit down and do it. 
I think one of the ways to do that is is to really say, hey, you know, with a patient that you have a good relationship with, um, mm -hmm. you know, hey, we really would love to have you um, give us your your testimony if we helped you and do it uh, not not on video, but have somebody like me interview them where we interview them and then we put it into the in a real you know way that's real readable and that you can also repurpose for newsletters and e-blasts and send that out because there's nothing like that third-party credibility and Jennifer uh, Tony Jerry you know speaks a lot about this about third-party credibility as you know and there's nothing like that third-party credibility especially when there's so many people out there trying to compete in the same seat for the same patient so for instance somebody that i know just sold a house to a dallas cowboy a real estate company right yeah. and nobody would ever know that unless he actually takes the time to market that and so putting together a nice story will be important right Okay. Yeah, I think just taking more time and and doing that and seeing like again I've I've tried to do it a couple of times and I'll have some patients go on the website and write some things, um, but uh, maybe being a little bit more specific like that or even having a simple intake form of some sort. Like, just write some well, stuff. Well, here's here's what I recommend is looking at. Um, when I worked with American Airlines, we created something called a customer sales team. So very different than your own internal sales team. It was actually a customer sales force. So if you think in terms of creating a customer sales force, then you kind of treat it just like your own, your own sales team and your own marketing effort, kind of a part, part of that. And what we can do is, you know, you can designate someone to, to try to um, do a five-minute phone interview or face-to-face -face interview where you're writing down all the content and you're mm -hmm. writing it in a story that you e-blast out uh, and send out. We just had, uh, we just did a book for a doctor at the Cooper Clinic and one of his patients happened to be Troy Aikman. Mm -hmm. And so we, we got Troy Aikman to endorse the doctor's book, which we could have overlooked that, but that was one effort with one of his patients that was really, really valuable for, it'll be valuable for decades. And so we're, I see on your website, you've got some, some, uh, allergies with Davis who is three right and yep. crystal and you've got those testimonials and that's great and I think you can continue to really leverage that by kind of getting their stories and maybe um, sending them out in an e-blast and using that of course in the blog posts and all of that that third-party credibility will really maximize your business okay so Todd, this is one of those areas where if you want, um, if you take five steps back, you can take twenty steps forward. You can take a giant leap forward, right? Getting organized is going to, and then getting very organized and having a plan on how you're going to create a series of testimonial videos and/or content uh, requires a plan, contact with those customers a commitment from them, a day, to make it easy, a day that you take strictly for content creation surrounding those, possibly a video prop to do the, the video interviews and content writer to spin those interviews into content. You could literally, which, and I'll tell you, this is something we're doing right now, so I'm sure you're going to get a phone call from our videographer team, <laughs> but so I'll tell you how I'm doing it. I have, I have my video guys working with Kathy to create a list of all of our customers who are local and all of our customers who we want to Skype in. 
they are setting four days aside that they are going to travel to each customer's location. Now, you can have them come to you and you can provide them with some type of special benefit, maybe a massage or something like that if they come in. It's worth it to get them. Um, we're going on site. <clears throat> we are having uh, Scott, our video guy, is creating all the video testimonials while, while he's on site at each location. Those videos will be sent to Tammy and her team, and Tammy will be able to spin those videos into content that we can reuse on our websites and our book, um, on our social media sites, on quotes and so forth, on sales presentations and materials. The videos that we're creating, not only will we have individual testimonials from each client, but in addition to that, they will be able to slice and dice those testimonials and create an entire sales video that we can use on the front page of each of our websites. So if you think about it, for us, on in, in our environment, we have multiple brands. We have the CI Web Group brand, digital marketing agency. We have 12-step roadmap brand, which is the training industry. We have Jennifer Bagley, which is a speaker side and so forth. But they will be able to go on site, create one video that they can convert just simply through the interview process, which you want to have a professional interview your customers for you if possible. Um, <clears throat> that small snippet of time can be spun into all of those different marketing tools, full-blown videos, sales videos, individual testimonials, blog content, book content, social media content, and so forth. So it's worth it. Sometimes we're... Um, we're just trying to get random testimonials as we go through business. In I believe in all of our businesses, you need to put your foot in the ground, stop for a moment, figure out what do you need that you can put into your marketing arsenal kit that's going to allow you to be more prepared to execute faster. You pause for a moment. For example, me showing you this, all of these quotes, this was, this took a day of pulling all of the quotes together in one list, pulling all of the images into one file folder, sending them over to our uh, design team and getting our design team to make us 200 quotes that we can use on all our social media channels. So now, for us to be able to schedule all of those posts, we're done, right? So we've got hundreds of these. We can come back six months from now and create another, another 100 quotes and so forth. In addition to that, we will pause for a moment in our business and we will take time to create a series of testimonial videos that can be reused, spun, and so forth on all our social sites. We will pause, we will create a book outline, we'll work with Tammy, let her go strike the book for us to create a new sales tool. So sometimes we're trying to do so much and we're doing itty bitty pieces of, of everything without a real plan that it can feel very frustrating because like you said you know trying to get somebody to give a testimonial here and there trying to entice them versus you making a statement that says on this day we're going to be filming testimonials these are the top 10 clients i'd like to have come in and do it we're going to give you you each for everybody that can commit to coming in we're going to give you a a 60 minute chair massage, I don't know, something. Right. Come on in. I'm going to have a video crew on site. We're going to video each one of those. Then we're going to take those videos. We're going to shoot them over to the editor. Let him create a sales video for the front of your website. Let him create individual videos. Create a bumper for the beginning, or excuse me, a header for the beginning of the video, a bumper for the end of the video. Load all those onto YouTube. Then you send them to Tammy. Have her create the content. And now, this, it, it, I promise you, I promise everyone that's on this, it is a thousand times easier to market your business if you pause, create a plan, execute just that. Then forget about having to get testimonials every day. Go about your business. It's a, a much, much, much easier process. Does that help at all? No, yeah, that helps a ton. I, I never really, I always was worried about people, um, having to take time out of their day like we were trying to do it when they came in for their appointment um, before or after and that yeah that just sounds a lot more logical to <clears throat> get so many people that you know obviously uh, offer them something for their time and, and most of my patients you know we have a really good rapport anyways so I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal um, to get a number of them to do that and then that's a lot more organized and it's a lot less stressful for us trying to um, 
get it on a day when we're actually working, doing other things. So I like that idea. I, I love that. I love that. Anything, to, anything you can do to be more organized, more disciplined, create that marketing pack right then. It's um, you know, we have we have one of our clients that saw us starting to market using these quotes. Um, Rhino, uh, Rhino Fleet Tracking, mutual client of Tammy and Tony and mine. And Steve, he saw what we were doing and he said, "Well, I take pictures." I said, like, "Okay." And he's like, "I have quotes." I said, "Okay." So he sent us over. He was like, what would, it, what would it take to, to put together 50 quotes that he can use on his social media that has Rhino Fleet tracking at the bottom of it, a motivational quote at the top of it, and his own custom photography? So something that he was struggling putting together, it takes us two days to give him a library of 50 images he can use for the entire year. So anytime you can do that, pause, create one plan, execute that one thing, create a, an entire marketing kit, and then move. Okay. I know I'm being repetitive, but it's easier. And if we didn't have like one thing, I thought that making a, having a phone interview, um, if we couldn't get uh, people there or do a video, it would be still just as as good to. You can use uh, Skype. Pardon me. You can use Skype. You can Skype in. I have about seventy five percent of my client base is is East Coast, West Coast. Central States. I have a very small client base in Dallas compared to around the rest of the United States, so we Skype in all of those video callers. For a testimonial? Yep. You can have a Skype day and an in-office day. You could do two separate days. This day you're going to have your videographer put together all the Skype videos. This day you're going to have them do all the in-office in videos. They can slice and dice and move those videos in and out from each other. So, you, so it sounds like videos are important. You only have two, three pieces of content, three marketing activities that are permanent and provide compound interest uh, impact on your business, a, co a compounding interest. So if you take simple interest versus compound interest, the only three activities you can do that have a permanent compound impact on your business is writing a book blog content, and video. Everything else is a simple interest marketing activity. Twitter, Facebook, um, t Tumblr, all, all the other social media sites, Vine. When you post content to Facebook, it's gone instantly. It only reaches who happens to be on Facebook looking at their feed during the time that you posted it. But no one goes and does a historical search through Facebook and it has no permanent value on Google. However, video blog content, and book, a book are the only three permanent assets that will make you money no matter what you do. So when I said earlier that I'm traveling and Kathy's uh, got leads that are coming in, she's disseminating out to our, our in-house sales guys, that strictly is coming from blog content and video, the two things that I'm most um, critical about. I also leverage social media sites, but I will, if I'm prioritizing, a book, blog content, and video are the three priorities in addition to when you add in all the supplementary things like Facebook and Twitter and Vine and Instagram and those things. Okay. <clears throat> Tammy, but Todd, first off, I appreciate it, uh, you um, you know, taking time and, and uh, allowing us to visit with you specifically about your business. There's no you care for patients, your philosophy. I know how you work, and you really have an incredible message I would like millions of people to see. Um, I'd love to see you be able to take your business to a digital environment where you can do consults on Skype and all of those things. I know that you're, you really have a, a goal to be um, very advanced from a, a technology standpoint in your practice as well. So I'm excited that you're, you're focused and dedicated to continuing to improve your marketing efforts. With that, Tammy, before we get out of here, do you have any wrap-up um, thoughts that you'd like to leave everybody with as we uh, conclude the call? That words are your asset, and organizations, whether we're entrepreneurs and it's a one man or woman organization or whether we are mid-sized companies you know we all have human assets and word assets and we don't look at it that way but the website 
and not just the website, but everything else that we can put out is such an asset. It's such a short amount of time to have us really kind of do a brand forensic, and then that's it. Once we do that, and get the right words in the right places, which is something Jen is very good at, then uh, you don't even have to think about it anymore. But it is an investment. It's like the right foundation down on your house. You want to get it right the first time. So thanks for joining us today. Thanks. You guys, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate everybody's time. If you guys need help or you need to have a, a consultation, you want to visit about how we can help you, don't hesitate to get in touch with us. The fastest and easiest way to get Tammy or I on the phone is to uh, go over to 12steproadmap.com. On the top right-hand corner, there's a free consultation button. Click that, fill out the information. We'd be happy to jump on and talk about how we can help you uh, accelerate your results. Um, other than that, you guys have a wonderful week. I'm going to go back to vacationing. Thanks again.